In the Sutra of Vyakarana of Bodhisattva Alokitsarva, there was such a story. Infinite Kalpas ago, there was a world called the Manifestation of Peace and Joy formed by infinite merits. There was a Buddha from this world named the playful Shizi Tathagata of Golden Light. His Buddha land was extremely pure, magnificent, and beautiful. The Virgin Vow During the age while this Buddha was giving teachings, there was a king, powerful virtue, who was ruling about 1,000 nations with the Dharma. One day, King Powerful Virtue was meditating in the garden. He entered Samadhi. Are you dragons or yakshas? Are you human being or not? Please tell me your names. You may call me Bao Yi and call him Bao Shang. Buddha, your greatest honor. May I ask what is pujana? I hope that you can please explain its meaning and way of practice so that the audiences can practice accordingly. Out of all the following pujanas, when one offers flower, music, cloth, medicine, and bed supplies, which one is the best? If one is capable of initiating a bodhicitta, the heart to benefit all sentient beings, it would be the Pujana to the Buddhas. 
using an uncountable number of precious and wonderful items to make offerings to Buddhas would not be as good as dedicating the heart of compassion toward the Bodhi path, the path of attaining Buddhahood. This is the best pujana. No other forms of offerings can surpass this. The fortune and reward of it are infinite. Beyond calculation. Forming this kind of bodhicitta would definitely succeed in the Buddha fruit, the attainment of the highest complete enlightenment. Ah! All dragons, ghosts, and gods, please listen to me. Today, in front of the Buddha, we make the great vow. We vow to give birth to the formation of bodhicitta. Floating for infinite kalpas in the river of life and death, we don't know the end of it. For the salvation of every single sentient being, the practice of the bodhisattva path takes many kalpas, not to mention that during each kalpa, infinite sentient beings can be saved and liberated. So, how can I feel sick and tired of the bodhisattva path? Starting from today, if I still allow the arousal of greed within my heart, I would be lying to all Buddhas of all time and space. Same as the arousal of feeling hatred, ignorance, stinginess, and jealousy. Today I am speaking the complete, definite truth. Starting from today, if I only concern about myself like the Shravakas, and not practice the Bodhisattva path of saving the sentient beings, it would be cheating the Buddha. I will not pursue the holy fruit of Prayaka Buddhas who are only capable of enlightening themselves. During the billions of Kalpas of the future, I will be saving and liberating all sentient beings with a great heart of compassion. Today, Buddha's land is pure, peaceful, joyful, with magnificent beauty. I vow that the Buddha land, when I attain Buddhahood, shall even surpass this land billions of times. And it would be absent of sentient beings such as Shravakas and Prayaga Buddhas. And it would only contain infinite numbers of great Mahayana Bodhisattvas with Bodhicitta. They will all be stainless and clear, filled with immeasurable great joy, born out of the correct views of the Dharma, capable of receiving and sustaining all precious treasures of Dharma. If my vows are real and non-empty, may the billions of worlds all vibrate. The king powerful virtue of the past became the Sakyamodi Buddha later. The two virgins were Bodhisattva Alokitsarva and Bodhisattva Mahasthama Prapta. These two great Bodhisattvas first made vow to give birth to the arousal of Bodhicitta in front of the playful Shizi Tathagat of Golden Light. Before they made the vow to give birth to the arousal of Bodhicitta, they already had deep understanding of such wisdom of names are ungraspable. It was because they had been making offerings to Buddhas for infinite numbers of lives and prior to that, they had planted all kinds of great deeds in doing so. The Buddha land of then, the manifestation of peace and joy formed by infinite merits, is the western paradise of the present. In the future, after infinite and calculable kalpas, the Amitabha Buddha of the Western Paradise would eventually enter Nirvana. After Nirvana, the time frame for the continuation of true Dharma on the earth would be the same as the infinite lifespan of Amitabha. 
The numbers of sentient beings that reached salvation before and during Amitabha's time would be equally infinite. After the nirvana of Amitabha Buddha, even though that certain sentient beings would not be able to see the Buddha personally, however, once those beings become bodhisattvas and attain chanting samadhi through the means of reciting the Buddha's name, the deathless dharmakaya of the Amitabha Buddha would always be visible in their lives. After the nirvana of Amitabha Buddha, all holy things of the paradise, flowing river, bath pool, lotus flower, treasure trees, would still be permanently speaking the Dharma voice. No difference with the Amitabha Buddha teaching personally. After the true Dharma of the Amitabha Buddha vanishes, when the time passes midnight, when the image of light appears, under the Bodhi tree of seven treasures, there would be the Bodhisattva Avalokitesarva, sitting in the lotus position, completes the perfect enlightenment of the Buddha fruit, whose name would be called the Merit Mountain King Tathagata of Pervasive Light. His Buddha land would be made of seven treasures from the nature, its magnificent beauty, is beyond description of infinite kalpas. Thousands of billions times more than the Buddha land of the playful Shizu Tathagata of Golden Light. There would be no Shravakas or Pratyaka Buddhas there. The land would be filled only with great bodhisattvas with bodhicitta. That Buddha land's name would be called the Magnificent World of Gathered Treasures. While the Mara Mountain King Tathagata of Purvasive Life appears in the world, there would be Bodhisattva Mahastam Prapta living closely and making offerings until his Nirvana. After the Nirvana, Bodhisattva Mahastam Prapta would continue to practice and sustain the true Dharma. When the true Dharma vanishes, Bodhisattva Mahastam Prapta would be perfect Buddhahood in this land called the Merit Treasure King Tathagata of Great Sustaining, whose land, brightness, lifespan, and the number of bodhisattvas would all be equivalent with the Merit Mountain King Tathagata of Pervasive Light. The time frame for the sustaining of true Dharma on Earth would also be equivalent for the two.